All right, everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the Battle of Stones River. We're picking up right where we left off. This is still the last part of December 31st, the first day of the battle, and really not going to be much that's going to happen here. I'm just going to try to see what I can do to maybe uh, hit a couple of these units before they can escape. Uh, like this one right here, for example, that looks like he's just going to get caught and left behind a little bit. I'm going to bring my cavalry up to help with that even though they're in the woods. And we'll see what else might be able to be done. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to get everybody else kind of out of harm's way so they're not taking unnecessary casualties from his artillery that's sitting up on the Nashville Pike. I'm just going to bring everything down here because that basically what's going to happen is they're just going to try to hit me with artillery. They're going to disappear, and then everything's going to be reset for the next day's battle anyhow, so it doesn't really matter where they are at the moment. So we'll try to catch these guys. I don't think there's going to be much else I can do. Maybe grab, nail this artillery over here. Should be able to destroy this unit unless he's able to flee in time. Looks like he's going to break back to his line, so I got to be careful I don't run into them. Yeah, exactly that. No, no, no. Don't want that to happen. I don't mind risking my skirmishers to deal with them. To try and deal with these batteries. One of the batteries was destroyed, the other one just a volley away from the same thing. Alright, there's the other battery gone. I got another hundred of Starkweather's men. That may be about all I can hope for right now. I know those supplies are sitting there and they look awfully tempting, but there's a pretty significant brigade right there. I gotta be cautious because I'm gonna get pretty close to his artillery fire here pretty soon. Alright, that brigade just shattered what was left of it. Kind of hoping Beatty will 
continue to break and he'll break right past them. But starting to think I'm not going to be able to grab these supplies. Oh, there's General Thomas, the uh, future Rock of Chickamauga. Let's see if we can kill him. Here comes the artillery fire. We'll just harass Beatty a little more and then I'm going to start dropping everybody back. I think we've done enough. Alright, we're going to go ahead and call this a day, and now we're, the next thing we'll do it will be to drop into the camp screen and get the army refit for the final assault. So I'll come back when it's time for that. Okay, so here's the situation uh, going into the 2nd of January, the second part of the battle. Uh, I have not yet reinforced my troops, but going in, I've got 29,458 and 93 guns. He's down to 33,060 guns. Uh, so he's lost uh, about a third of his army because uh, he was up around, he was in 48,000 range. So he's already lost 15,000 men. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and get refit and ready to go. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like going into the final phase. Okay, so here's how it looks. Uh, we're going to go with 45,000 soldiers. I could have put more, but I think this will do the trick, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on veteran troops that I might just get killed in this next phase. So uh, this is going to be more than enough for what I want to do to finish off winning this battle. Now, just to kind of show where the situation is, we've got three hours to take these two objectives. This one, fairly easy. The, the harder of the two tends to be this one. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and overrun this one and then I'm going to set myself up to just kind of punch through and take this one at the last seconds, second so I can kind of keep the casualties down. And all of that's going to take a little bit of time to get everybody in position, especially since I've got this wing that starts out over here. So we're going to start bringing these guys around. Uh, I'm going to lead the attacks with my militia. So I'm going to drop out here. I'm going to get everybody organized and ready to go and come back when I'm ready to launch my assault. Okay, so what I'm doing is I got all my artillery up and I'm just kind of shelling his position right now. And it's not going to do much, but it'll knock out a few soldiers and every bit, little bit helps. I'm going to move a series of units up here, including my cavalry. And at the very last minute, just kind of put a hammer punch right through the middle, uh, right up into here. I don't want to get up there and hold it for long and because he's going to have a lot of men entrenched up in there, a lot of artillery. Uh, this position here tends to not be quite so heavily defended. So we'll just get everybody into position here and when there's about an hour to go I'll launch my attack. I'm just waiting on some of these units. I got a lot of artillery that's still on its way. It takes a long time to get it all up here. And I'll lead my attack with my one star units especially the militia, let them take the casualties, they're easier to replace, and we'll support that attack with the more experienced units behind them. And then the same thing here. I'll line up with the one star units, I'll follow that with the two stars. And then I'll have the cavalry there just in case I need that last second punch to run in and take the objective. And it looks like we're going to need some supply here. So I'm going to make sure I have that. These guys are getting torn up. Let's pull them out. That's a 24 pounder. Ouch.
Get up here, resupply them. Let's make sure everybody's ready here. So I'll have two columns of three brigades, followed by the infantry, or followed by the, the cavalry. Hour and 14. I don't want to go too early. I don't want to suffer needless casualties. So we'll let this tick down just a little further. Okay. I should have moved some some of these units further over to support. I didn't really set that up very well. Right, so it looks like I already took this objective, so that probably could have waited a little bit longer in terms of the casualties I'm going to take, but it is what it is. Now, this is where i got to be careful, because I don't want to have these guys go running up and over that hill and take a bunch of casualties they don't need to. Hold up right there, guys. So now what we'll do is we'll bring up the artillery. So you can see he's got another line back here that I don't really need to mess with. So we'll hold our two star units kind of in support here in case he punches through the line somewhere. We'll get our artillery up there. And then we'll start thinking about this next part. Which I don't think I want to do quite this soon, but... I also don't want to get myself in a situation where I wait too long. So he's given up this position. We'll 
get the artillery up here just to be extra sure to hold it. And now we'll focus on the last 20 minutes and punching through over here. You can see these first units are going to take a lot of casualties as they make their way up in here. And that's why, is because he's got all these, this kind of extra line sitting back here behind. That's what I have to be able to overcome. And I may need my cavalry to do that, because I didn't take a huge force up here, and he's got a lot up there. Okay, it looks like I already secured it. So again, in both situations, I probably went earlier than I needed to, and I'm going to suffer extra casualties because of it. Because I've still got 10 minutes here. Because he's got all this artillery, all this infantry firing on me. And with 8 minutes to go, he takes it back. And I don't want to rush the uh, the cavalry in there unless I absolutely have to. Because they're going to take some volleys and get torn up. Just watching that clock. And it's contested, but that's not an issue. This is one of those battles where, as long as it's in my hands when it hits finish, we're good. There we go. Okay, so there's the victory at Stones River. Uh, now, obviously, the casualties are completely misleading. It's showing 2,800. That's what I lost in this last phase, but that's actually not bad. 3,000 taking the two Nashville Pikes. Uh, I should be setting myself up nicely for the future here, especially uh, because I grabbed all those supplies. There's 15,000 supplies I grabbed. I got a nice haul of uh, Harper's Ferry 1855s, but otherwise not a lot in the way of weapons rescued or captured. So that kind of hurts a little bit. But let's go ahead and take a look and see where, see where things stand moving forward. Uh, so I've got, let's see, 2334... About 40,000 in my army right now. Another 15,000 available. So it puts me at about 55,000. And now we've got three uh, minor battles coming up before we get into the next major one at Chancellorsville. So that's a nice chance for me to... Um, there's not a lot. What, 3,000, 2,000, 4,000. Uh, so I'm not going to gain a lot in terms of numbers, but that should set me up nicely for Chancellorsville, which is another multi-day battle, which is going to be another opportunity to go in with as few troops as possible uh, and kind of take advantage of that scaling system, which I hate, but that's just the way it is. So uh, we'll take these in chronological order. So Blackwater Heights will be the next battle. I seem to recall that being one I don't really like all that much, just because I... I mean that in, in the terms of it's a hard battle, but um, yeah, that's one where we have to kind of make a kind of a bridgehead and get across. He, he's going to have 28,000 men there, but I can take 20 brigades, so I should be able to outnumber him. So we'll come back for that. Let's just kind of take a look real quick at where things can stand. Snakefoot Brigade, who uh, was definitely one of our best performing in that last battle, you can see uh, 1,389 kills. They did lose about six, 700 men. It doesn't show here just because of the way things happen when you reinforce in the middle of a battle. But all in all, 15,500 kills, only 57 losses showing up. So i uh, got a lot of two-star units now moving forward, which is going to be really important as I try to keep my numbers low so he doesn't scale high. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We've got two career points to put in. 
and we're going to go ahead and keep doing um, well let's see army organization I'm really not concerned about having 3,000 man brigades right now uh, so we're going to go economy and medicine and just kind of max those out then we'll look at politics again uh, but really I don't need a lot more money and manpower what I need is just to have an efficient force that has good weapons so we'll take it from there um, I know this wasn't a whole lot of excitement in the second phase of the Battle of Stones River, but that's where we're at. And we'll get into these next minor battles in the coming days. In the meantime, check out some of my other videos. If you hit that thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Use the comment section below to give me your comments, your observations, and we will go from there. Thanks for watching.